Well, good morning, Get Wrecked for Recovery crew. So it's day number 19 of the Redeeming Eden Cycle Tour. RECT, Get Wrecked for Recovery, a 48-state, four-year ride for addiction recovery awareness. Each day I pedal for someone who's passed away from addiction and the whole end goal is to build a rehab. And this is state number 44, New Mexico, on Route 66, the Mother Road, Main Street, USA. And it's all to raise awareness that addiction recovery options are available, that you don't have to die in your addiction. There's churches, celebrate recoveries and rescue missions all over the nation, all over the world, that just wanna help you, talk to you, and love you if you find yourself battling addiction. So yeah, I'm here at the Pecos River cabin on the gorgeous, picturesque Pecos River in Pecos, New Mexico. How many times can I say Pecos before this uh, intro is over with? No, uh, absolutely gorgeous, beautiful water, crystal clear, uh, and they've got this nice little area that you can come sit uh, and just enjoy the sound of the rushing water. And then they've got this uh, gate here to the garden um, that kind of keeps everything uh, out here. And in here is the Pecos River Cabins property. And it's stunning. There's like this little flowing creek that meanders meanders its way through the whole property this way. Just absolutely stunning. I cannot explain how good it feels to be on this piece of property. On, on, on top of all that, so last night I met Kimberly. She had gone into Santa Fe. She's the one who owns the place. Uh, she had gone into Santa Fe yesterday afternoon like at four and when we talked on the phone I said well what do I need to do how do I pay what do I you know how do I make that work she said well you can either pay um, the manager property manager uh, or you can wait until I get back so I got back it was raining you saw that I went inside and took a nap and uh, at eight o'clock like 8 30 she walked over and knocked on the door and we got to talking and so she said you know I needed to email her uh, my email address so she could send me the invoice. Well, this morning I woke up to an email from her that said, hey, um, as far as the invoice is concerned, everything's taken care of. Uh, man, God's just so good, you know? He fed Elijah with the ravens. Unreal. Unreal. It's almost just hard to believe what I'm living in. It's supernatural. Um, so yeah, she's going to come over this morning and take a picture of me and the bike and share it uh, to her friends. Um, and I am so thankful. Thank you so much, Kimberly. What a blessing. I cannot explain like the turmoil that was going on in my brain on having to spend another hundred dollars on a room when I've got a tent on the back of my bike. <laughs> like it just doesn't make sense sometimes. Um, but God's always leading the way, so thank you. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go uh, over there, take the photo. I've got everything packed up, ready to go, ready to get on the road. I'm going to go to the first gas station, which is here in Pecos. The next one's like another 20 miles, Pecos River Station, and the next one's 40 miles. So 40 miles total for today, 2,500 feet of climbing, something like that. And there's a subway uh, and a gas station there. Um, that looks like from satellite it's got some property across from the KOA that I might be able to ask them, you know, where they park 18-wheelers at the subway uh, and gas station, where I may be able to ask them if I can just put my tent down there so I don't have to spend any money. Uh, if not, if that doesn't work out, then I'm just going to go down 83 as far as I can go. Um, I think that that'll be okay. That it looks, you know, sparsely populated enough to be able to do that. And I'll just stealth camp on the side of the road somewhere uh, and, you know, be done with that. But anyway, um, with all that being said, yeah, 40 miles plus today. I have to at least go 40 to get to food. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this for just a little bit longer before I get on the road. And, uh, yeah, thank you again, Kimberly. Pecos River Cabins, if you're cycling Route 66, make sure you stop in here and... Uh, 
and bless these people for the way that they bless me. So, with all that being said, I love you guys. I'll see you later. Alright, so I stopped here at Poncho's, the Shell Station with the restaurant uh, in it. Oh my goodness, look at this burrito. It is incredible. 12 bucks. I don't think I've got that much food for $12. My mouth is watering. Um, and forever. That, this is fully loaded. There's no way I'm going to be able to eat it all. Like, it's just... It looks so good. Kimberly, thank you for the recommendation. Alright, so uh, Kimberly told me to come check out the Pecos uh, National Park uh, area, and it is really neat. So this is what's left of one of the Franciscan monasteries, uh, conventos that they built, but the Pueblo ruins are here, uh, and so Pecos was uh, a Native American establishment. That pass that I came over yesterday was the pass through to Santa Fe, and uh, you know, points west, and this kind of mountain range is the very edge of the, the western edge of the Great Plains. So this would be where they'd enter to go, you know, into the Rockies and uh, that area west. Uh, but over the years, like a lot of different Spanish uh, Inquisition and uh, things had come through, and there were finally, I think, 27 people remaining that moved out uh, at the very end of all of it. But a lot of history here, like thousands of years of history here. It's really interesting to be uh, on this same place. And uh, that's that pass up through there that I came over yesterday. So, uh, yeah, really neat. They're still uh, finding more out about this site every day. And I uh, hope you will too. Come visit it one day and come say hey to Kimberly again. Thank you so much, Kimberly. Time to get back on the road. Let's go. Alright, so I was just riding down the road and I ran across two other touring cyclists. They're from the UK. This is Danny and Joe. Tell them what you're doing. Tell them about your Instagram. Uh, we're the Roaming Rashers. Uh, we're traveling from New York to Los Angeles. Uh, we're currently on the Route 66. We started in New York and done cycle route, the ACA, ACA cycle route to Chicago and peeled off to St. Louis and then joined the 66. Fantastic. Well, congratulations on state number 12. Is that right? Yeah, yeah day 40 this is. This yeah. is day 40 cycling. Day 40. How cool. Well, yeah. God bless you guys. It was a pleasure meeting y'all and good luck on your journey. And yeah, uh, I'll, I'll put the, their Instagram in the description of this video so that you can go follow it too. So, all right. Nice meeting Great. you guys. Thank you. So that little yellow dot back there on the horizon is John. Uh, he's from upstate New York, near the Watkins Glen area, Elmira. And when I started telling him what I was doing, he was like, wait a minute, Adam? And I was like, yeah. He's like, 
I think I've seen you on Facebook. So I think probably from the Erie Canal towpath last year, uh, he saw some of the uh, riding that I was doing up there. So, John, nice talking to you. I wished him tailwinds, but it's really hard to wish another cyclist going the opposite direction tailwinds. You really have to be like completely selfless. Uh, <laughs> he said, the winds are coming out of the south, so hey, we'll both get it. And I like that. Anyway, yep. Uh, I like this road. Not much traffic on it at all. Interstate's over there. It's not a bother. It's not close enough to be scary. So, uh, yeah. Let's keep on going. Love you guys. See you later. Alright, so I just stopped here at the Pecos River Station, which is this gas station right here. Uh, they've got a sign that says, no camping allowed without owner's permission. Also, rattlesnakes are back. Um, I asked her, I said, you know, I don't need to camp. I'm, I got farther I need to go, but uh, how does that work? She said, oh no, we closed the campground down. We got gas pumps. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I am so confused right now. I don't even know how to make sense of it. So, uh, yeah. So if you're recycling Route 66, you cannot camp at the, Pace, uh, the Pecos River Station. They have gas pumps. So. Anyway, uh, yeah, keep on moving down the road, uh, trying to get to the subway. It's, I got like 20 miles left to go uh, to get there. I think I'm gonna eat and then make my way down 83 as far as I can and just crash on the side of the road somewhere. Not like with the bike, but put the tent down, park the bike peacefully and set up camp. You'll see more of that right about now. So I rolled in here to the subway, the Speedway gas station subway. Uh, it ended up being $13.44. That's strange to me. First, it's cool that I'm in state 44 and I got another 44, but second, it's strange like how the prices vary through all the different areas that you go. Uh, that seems more expensive than usual, but I guess it is what it is. Um, Anyway, I talked to the guy at the register inside. I actually talked to the guy at the register at Subway. His name was Mike. I'll be riding for one of his friends soon. Uh, but I talked to the other guy at the Speedway gas station register and asked him if I could put my tent over here uh, where the 18-wheelers park. And he said, yeah, sure, man, go for it. So, uh, I don't know if that's what I'm gonna do. I've gotta sit here and do the math, try and figure out how far I'd have to go. I know I would be turning straight off into the wind, so I gotta look at what the wind's gonna be doing tomorrow, whether it's worth it. I know from here to Santa Rosa, there's no more food or anything, so it's either, you know, fill up on this and, and make it. I don't know, I have no idea. Anyway, I'm gonna do that math and I'll get back with you guys and let you know what I figure out. Love you guys, see you later. Okay, I'm back. That was faster for you than it was for me, I promise you that. 
So it is just way too loud. Like there's 18 wheelers over here running, motorcycles pulling in, cars, like it's super busy. I could go to the KOA, but I talked to the same guy who told me that I could put my tent down over here in the parking lot um, and asked him what this road right here is like uh, because it's just desolate. There's nothing out here. Even the Bike Route Navigator app map says there are very limited services between uh, Santa Fe and uh, Santa Rosa, or Pecos and Santa Rosa, really. Um, so I asked him, he said it was all just like backwoodsy canyon type feel with scattered houses along the way. I think, which is a terrible, terrible thing for me to do, it's 4.30, sun doesn't set till 6.47, it's into the wind, it's going to be into the wind tomorrow, it's coming out of the south and going directly south. If I just knock some miles out tonight, I can get myself that much closer to Santa Rosa where I can have dinner in Santa Rosa tomorrow and then go on through and stealth camp somewhere before Tucumcari and then make my day into Tucumcari a little bit easier. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to head out and you're going to see more of that right about now. So I just looked down at my Garmin and realized the screen was glitched out. So rather than send out an alarm by trying to fiddle with it, I just held the power button and the play button down and reset the whole thing. It did save the ride. That's cool. 54.4 miles. But that's not how far I'm going today. I still got farther to go. So um, you saw on Strava that I stopped here. Uh, this is not where I actually stop. There's going to be another one, another ride posted for today later on. Uh, so, yeah, still praying for my friends down in Fort Myers. Uh, and I love you guys. I've checked on that hurricane every time I could and have had service. I finally got a little service right here by a little cell tower that's just a tiny little one over here on the horizon. But anyway, um, I am praying for y'all. Got a bunch of friends praying for y'all. If y'all need anything, please let me know, and we will do what we can to help. So, uh, yeah, let me keep on riding. It's been just stunning. Stunning ride. Rain falling all around me. I even had some rain on me for just a few minutes earlier. Anyway, I'm tired. It's nice to come down out of elevation. Though. I can feel my lungs working again. It's actually harder to breathe because the air's thicker, if that makes any sense. Anyway, let's keep going. First of all, this is what you've been seeing. This is what I've been out running. And look at this sunset. Also, I have no idea what this is. Like, uh, I'm gonna zoom in on it because it looks so strange. I have no idea what that is. So weird, but yeah, rain sunset crazy anomaly in the sky let's check out what it is real quick it's a balloon it looks so weird against the blue sky from where i am it must be some kind of weather or wind tracker because i do know that albuquerque has their annual balloon fest starting saturday that's not the kind you would ride in, but I, it may be something that they're using to determine what they need to know to fly balloons. I have no idea. All I know is that like this, this, and this are so strange to me right now because it's like three different parts of the world around me are doing totally different things. Sunny day, rainy day, sunset. <laughs> Well, 
this is turning very quickly into another one of those all night long rides. Uh, and my balloon friend's still up here, kind of guiding me down the highway. I don't know what to though, because there's nowhere to camp. Like everything on the side of the road is this tall scrub brush, and I don't want to put my tent down on it. I'm sure there's stickers, rattlesnakes, all the stuff. I do see a right hand turn coming up up here, so maybe I can peel off and find somewhere. I hope. I have no idea. This is the funnest part about these rides. Maybe that is. That's pretty stinking cool, if you ask me. I mean, that's like, that's cool. Now this is getting even cooler by the minute. So the sun has just gone down, but now I can see the moon and the hot air balloon. But the hot air balloon, or weather balloon, is still glowing brighter than the moon is. I'll zoom in and like, you know, put it back to the music and just show you all this thing because it's just crazy. Like I'm seeing rain, sun just set, moon, crazy <laughs> glowing balloon. Like, it's bright, bright, super bright, light, bright, bright. That's the, that's the moon. I don't know if you'll be able to even see it. Yeah, that's how bright the moon is. This is how bright this thing is. It's weird. Well, that wasn't much farther, uh, so... I was just right there uh, looking at the sunset, you know, and the, the moon up there and this crazy balloon. And I found like this open gravel spot on the side of the highway. Like just perfect. It says no parking, but it doesn't say anything about camping. It says don't litter, $300 fine. They won't have to worry about that either. Uh, it's right here on the side of the highway. so. I guess this is my sign I needed to camp here for the night. The balloon led me here. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is the strangest thing I've ever experienced in my life. These tours are just ridiculously weird. Anyway, um, but since I'm not going to have enough light, um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here for the day. Uh, if you know anyone who's passed away from addiction in any form or fashion, please drop your name in the comments or find me through the Papa link in the description and I would love to ride for your person and celebrate their life with you for a day. Uh, that Papa link has all the Redeeming Eden social, all of the Redeeming Eden ways you can donate, and the International Gospel Outreach nonprofit link. And again, thank you so much Get Wrecked for a Recovery Crew, every one of you that is liking every video, commenting on every video, sharing every video, and those of you that are subscribed to the YouTube channel. Uh, I am super thankful. I cannot tell you how appreciative I am with words. Uh, if you were here, I'd give you a hug. And yeah, from here on the side of the road, Highway 84, somewhere in New Mexico, State 44, I love you guys. Jesus loves you. I'll see you later. Have a good night. A couple more things before I end the video. So as I'm not even done putting up the tent. And now the balloon's too dark to see. <laughs> That's so crazy. Second, let me see if you can see these guys. I have an audience. Yeah. My cow friends are over here just checking me out. There's a bunch of them too. You can't see them all. But they're all through here and they're all just standing and staring at me and mooing. Kind of neat. Anyway. That's it for the video for the day. I still can't believe that. I mean, it's not even visible. Too weird. Just too weird.